Hello and welcome to this evening's Isthmian League Premier Division tie between promotion hopefuls Horsham and bottom of the league Kingstonian. Last time out at Imperial Fields, Horsham beat Kingstonian two goals to one thanks to a Daniel Adjikari strike and a late, late Jimmy Fenelon goal. I went to go and catch out Dominic De Paola, Horsham manager, pre-match. After an important away victory, how important is it to get back to or keep on track of winning ways against the side bottom of the table this afternoon? Yeah, really important. We've just got every game at the moment is there's so much riding on it. We've just got to keep um, keep on an even keel. Um, they've changed their manager recently. They've had a bit of an upturn in performances. So um, yeah, we, we, we're expecting something different to what we faced when we played them earlier in the season. <laughs> The game's coming thick and fast, so it'll be much rotation from the side. Uh, only, only a couple, just where we've got some niggles, we've just got to manage, manage the group, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we've got two or three struggling at the moment, that, that are sort of struggling through games. So, we've got, we've got the squad, so we're going to try and use people when we can. Um, anyone who comes in, no, no, no major difference to what we, what we normally have, really. We, we, know, we know they're more than capable. The outcome of teams, out for a huge match. As every game is, as Don DePaolo did describe to me earlier, in Horsham's hunt for the playoffs this season. Hammond from the corner drives into the box to the head of Hester Kirk and it's in! It seemed to just hit the midfielder's head and just loop into the corner. And inside five minutes, Charlie Hester Cook has the Hornets in front. It's a nice ball with Hester Cook. She flicks around the corner to Adjikai. Back to Hester Cook. Can he shoot? He shoots! Just wide! What a sublime bit of play that was between Adjikai and Hester Cook. Scott Corbin to his right. He's about to the but straight pressing by Hester Cook and Hammond's got it off him. Hammond with Adjikai on his left. Finds Adjikai. Adjikai into the box. He finds Hester Cook and in it goes! Hester Cook sweeps it into the back of the net, courtesy of his great bit of pressing. And inside 40 minutes, Hester Cook is on now 15 goals. Horsham are now on two goals in this match. He finds Lucas. Lucas can he deliver. Goes past one, looks up, delivers into the box. Hester Cook, a great save. Here comes a free kick to be whipped in by Lausanne. And it evades everyone and squeezed in. Kingstonian with a lifeline. Eddie Dazan back to haunt his former side. And there's a game on our hands now. Back into Hammond. Twinkle toes his way oh, through. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is. Hammond with a lovely bit of skill. Twinkle toes his way through the back line. And was tripped carelessly by Kingstonian man, resulting in a referee with no choice but to give a penalty there. And the horseman could be getting over a sloppy bit of play here in the past five, ten minutes. In the 86th minute, Hammond takes and Hammond fires it into the bottom right corner. And that should all but confirm the three points for Horsham this evening. A very convincing penalty into the bottom right hand corner. James Hammond having a fantastic goal scoring season. Carry with long goal kick, and there goes the final whistle. Horsham 3 1 victors, thanks to a Hester Cook brace and a James Hammond penalty. See the Hornets go up into third place in the Isthmian Premier League division. 3 1 victory against a relegated, relegation threatened side, but what do you make of the game overall this evening? Yeah, I mean, we should have we should have put it to bed numerous times, really. We've had a lot of chances in the game. And then, you know, as is often the case, they scored sort of, you know, not really troubled us and scored and made it a little bit more nervy. But I thought I thought we were good. I thought, I mean, we, we dominated the ball, we dominated the chances. Um, there were some really good performances out there, especially first half. I thought we were so comfortable first half. Um, yeah, I think we could have been you know, much further ahead over the course of the game. Um, but yeah, I think it was a really, really professional performance in general. It's a shame we lost the, the clean sheet, but um, overall, come out of it unscathed, I think, injury-wise. Got strange, he managed to get through the 90 minutes. Uh, gave Barks a bit of a, a breather in there. I thought Tucky was excellent. So yeah, 
pleased in, in general. So Charlie has to cook, got a um, man of a match. Just how good is he? And how good is, is he to have in your side? Yeah, he's in a good, good, good little vein of form the last month. I think he's been he's been really good the last month. He's got a bit between his teeth. He's playing playing, you know, probably his best best football since he's been at the club. Um yeah, I thought I thought he was great. He was, he was he's been good for probably the last five or six. Really, really good. And obviously at the moment he's he's scoring goals, so he just doesn't, you know, you never want to stop when he's scoring, do you? you just keep playing. But um, we thought we'd take him off at the end. He was he was struggling a little bit, and I know he wanted to get a third goal, but I'd sooner have him fresh for the weekend. 